Hey, everybody. Just on a little bit of feeding time here on my 125 gallon New World tank. And my big Pleco is out. I've been going kind of easy on the amount of algae wafers I've been putting in this tank for a while now. And I can definitely tell a difference. If you look around the tank, you can see the woodwork is very, very scraped clean. The rocks are all nice and clean. And so the Pleco has been in there scraping and scrounging and foraging for its own food for a bit. And interestingly enough, we are down on the far left-hand side of the tank, which is where most of the activity usually occurs. But the Pleco usually stays down to the right-hand end of the tank where the tilapia usually hangs out. And it was interesting to see that the Pleco was all the way down at this end of the tank during feeding time. Uh, I got the impression it was very much out looking for some algae wafers to see if that was going to happen tonight. So tonight was definitely an algae wafer night for the tank. The Pleco got plenty of those. And the tilapia even came down and got a few. And of course now she's up there pecking at and harassing the Pleco again. Trying to do this without as much glare as possible. But this is a really impromptu video. I just grabbed the camera when I saw the Pleco out. And of course that's my tilapia. So there you go, just a little quickie. That's one of those fish that's not super reclusive necessarily, but I don't really see it a lot either. It doesn't just come out nice and bold like that. So when it does, I like to try to get a little bit of video of it. This is where it normally hangs out at this end of the tank, so it was very unusual to see it at the other end. So this is a much more common sight. As far as the species of Pleco, I've been over this a bunch of times. I'm not 100% sure what it is. I honestly don't even care. I bought it under the name High Fin Spotted Pleco uh, from PetSmart. I've had various people tell me it was various different uh, species and L numbers. I've looked a few up. A few of them look like they've nailed it and got it spot on. Uh, some of them don't look quite so accurate. But again, I don't really know for sure what species it is and again I also don't really care it's all just academic uh, it's a pleco I've got in my tank and it just is what it is knowing its name isn't really going to change anything uh, it would just be interesting out of a academic sense or curiosity sense it is really amazing how that tilapia always just comes over and harasses that pleco whether that pleco is bothering her or not she really just doesn't seem to like him or maybe it's a love-hate thing maybe she just loves to hate him But he never seems to mind too much. Again, he's an armored catfish, and she's pretty much toothless. So I don't know what she's really doing to him other than bumping her face into him and kind of annoying him. And eventually she annoys him enough that he goes somewhere else. But they do have an interesting relationship. This could be my new odd couple. All right, everybody, there you go. Just another look at my... Pleco, I got to get on with feeding the rest of the room. So I'm going to say thanks for watching that one. Make sure you subscribe. You never know what you're going to get with me. And don't forget, of course, this one here is my 125 gallon New World tank. So thanks again. I'll see you real soon.